Greetings fellow men, servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Today I am welcoming you from Noboribetsu in southern Hokkaido, Japan. And this is actually my favorite season in Japan. It is Momichi season, the red autumn leaves uh, season. You see a lot of yellow but also a lot of red here. The most busy tourist season in Japan is of course the uh, um, cherry blossom sakura time in the spring but my favorite season is actually the autumn here and uh, the yeah, time of day and the sun and also the very short uh, autumn or uh, yeah, colored leaf season in uh, Hokkaido are actually very much favoring us today so I can show you these wonderful autumn colors um, I hope to be able to show you more soon. But uh, what is also uh, really special for Japan, or nice in Japan, sometimes also dangerous of course, is the volcanic origin of the Japanese archipelago. So you have a lot of volcanoes here and um, what goes along with that is of course seismic activity and also uh, hot springs. Yeah, You have here um, very hot water, 60 to 80 degrees Celsius coming right out of the ground. Around us is a subtle but distinct smell of sulfur and uh, maybe you can see there is even some steam coming out of this hilltop here. That is volcanic activity here. Um, of course the Japanese make the best out of everything so they uh, created uh, very nice hot springs, so-called onsen, um, that I am staying at today. So I just hiked a couple of meters further uphill and you can see the full glory of this lake. Um, a volcanic lake, lots of uh, nasty stuff coming out of the ground, but I guess having 60 to 80 degrees water in winter can be quite nice. I will be proceeding now to the Hell Valley, the Valley of Hell, on this very yeah, tourist-friendly footpath. Maybe if you have problems with your joints or you're already old, this is a very gentle path you can take through the woods here. And um, this Hell Valley is actually the place where the onsen actually the hot spring, the uh, hot it's a resort spa where you can stay where they actually get their hot water from. So here you can already see the entrance to the valley of hell and here uh, closer to me you can already see some weird colored uh, rock formations and some steam coming out of the ground and that is the beginning of Hell Valley where I will take you next now. Yeah, I'm strolling down further the path now. Maybe a couple of words on these onsen in Japan. Some of them are really just tiny places, public baths really, where you can take a shower if you don't have one yourself. Um, but um, many of them are actually these mineral hot springs alike akin to the area where I am at right now and um, I think in the 20th century um, as Japan became economically more powerful people got wealthier a rich middle class developed so I would call them onsen theme parks really that started coming up. Now these establishments really cater to uh, Japanese families, to Japanese people who are in dire need of um, yeah, concentrated, um, condensed uh, relaxation. That means um, they work hard uh, from Monday till Saturday maybe. That's how it was still in the 80s when these places were established. And um, they had maybe one day or one and a half days in order to relax. So what they do there is actually just take a hot bath and eat and sleep and spend the entire day in their yukatas. So that's a summer kimono really. And um, not do much more. Um, so when you are tired and exhausted from 
uh, long hours at the company, the last thing you want to do probably is to climb a mountain or to go on a hardcore sightseeing trip, uh, visit some uh, big city and uh, look at historical landmarks and the likes. No, you just want to relax and this is what Japanese people do uh, at onsen places like this one here. So we will come to a uh, platform right now where we have a good view um, across Hell Valley. Uh, it's some kind of observation deck. I hope I'm not really interfering with what people are doing here. Let's see. So here you see really the sulfur and all the steam coming out of the ground and also beautiful autumn leaves that you can see here and further down there are of course um, yeah, um, tubes and hoses where um, this hot water is transported to the um, resorts and the spa areas that are further down the valley here. Between the trees you can see the first big uh, such establishment. It's a big onsen hotel where you can have massages, all sorts of different food, entertainment and of course a very very large um, hot bath uh, area with um, just a table salt or rock salt uh, um, uh, tubs, also um, sulfur, um, uh, um, iron sulfate and uh, also uh, sodium and magnesium rich um, tubs are available. For them. They should have of course different um, health effects, um, maybe good for your skin, good for your circulation etc. But uh, I just really like um, to relax here also and especially here I like to enjoy the countryside and the uh, view from here. And I have to stress, you know, we are really lucky today with the weather. Many Japanese people cannot enjoy this because it's during the week and they have to work. And um, yeah, um, I was told um, by my wife actually that this, um, these autumn colors in uh, Hokkaido are not very long lived. It's just a, maybe a week or it's very short that you can um, have them this beautifully. So I just wanted to share that with you. And next I go further down the valley. Now as for these Japanese um, onsens or saunas or spas, uh, in these big um, hotels, in these big areas, they are really open 24-7. And um, I wondered how this works because I stepped in there yesterday night and everything was misty <laughs> with the, from the hot tubs and they must clean that somehow because otherwise it would, yeah, you would get fungus everywhere, not very hygienic. And this morning after breakfast I went there and this is actually when the first customers have to check out and the new guests have not arrived yet and I saw a tiny army, like a little battalion of <laughs> Japanese workers in there scrubbing the ceilings, the walls, all the tubs were drained and meticulously thoroughly scrubbed. So every day they clean these tubs, it is really very sanitary, very clean and uh, yeah this is the way it works. So you can still go there, um, you're of course fully naked and um, the sexes are uh, separated so there is a the, an area for men and an area for women but when these workers clean there nobody really um, yeah, uh, takes notice um, it's uh, not a big deal here so you are just naked there <laughs> in those pools um, but now I think I shut up a little bit and show you one more time this beautiful scenery Ah, nothing like the smell of sulfur. And with these images from Noboribetsu, I say goodbye for this time. Um, I hope to catch you guys again later. 
Servus, Kameraden.